This chapter begins with the spiritual manifestations that took place on the 25th of July 1949 and that extended until the 28th. These were days of intense spiritual actions, whose some revelations Toko reproduces here and describe how it triggered the reappearance of the Church of Christ and a whole range of realities that revolve around it. This happened in Mayange to the members of the Kibokolo Choir of the Baptist Church, because, as we can see in the previous chapter, Simao Toko carefully created the preconditions that favored the occurrence of this unique event in the history of humanity. Having restored the authentic gospel of Christ hidden by the missionaries over the centuries, God's first purpose in the action of the Tokoists is fulfilled. After the 25th of July, they left for another difficult mission, evangelization and, consequently, the establishment of the Church of Christ. As an immediate reaction from political and religious structures, the expulsions of BMS Kibokolo and BMS Leopoldville stand out the prisons, and for those in the Belgian Congo the compulsory repatriation to Angola, where they are exiled to Loge, Luanda, Benguela, south of Angola and in various parts of the country, Estome and India. In prison, they are accused of subversion and inciting public disorder. The good news spread by the Nunga Gel after repatriation, as faithful depositors of the message of God brought by Toko, was well established in the prophetic action of Mayamona. In this period that ends in 1961 with the change of the background of the Estrella da Alva from red to green, there is also the second phase of announcements by Toko. Here, the elders, were the initiators of Tokoism, build the church that we are all proud of today, in the face of the stupefied look of the PSP, PETA and the colonial government. In this chapter, the director's announcements that took place since the 26th of July on the way of praying, and the motto of the Tokoistas, will be described, followed by the revelations of Christ on the evangelization of the Baal, and of the sacred mountains. Valley of Loge, culminating with the presentation on 9 October 1949 of the Tokoistas program of action marked by the sign of the era of changing the system of things and the announcement about the liberation of the country, Africa and the world from social injustices, describing all the events that would take place in the world and the end of the colonial system in Africa. This is followed by announcements about prisons, repatriation, the mission of Tokoists in Valley of Loge, the advent of liberation movements in Angola, their departures to southern Angola and Portugal and about the desolation of the world. It was in this period that the announcements of the 1946 protests and the meaning of the Red Star's background were fulfilled, the bloodshed, the pain, the crying resulting from the war. There is also the dispersion of the Tokoistas from Vale du Loge to the forests. These are structuring revelations, the visit of Jesus Christ in the Nadolo jail, with his two books of records, which will be re-announced by Toko in 1982, the encounter with God in Katate and the revelation about the existence of the three wonderful trees in the Loge Valley. Remembrance of the Church of Christ One. From today and forever, you will no longer close your eyes when you are in prayer one. Psalm chapter 121 verses 1 to 2. 2. The Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ was July 25, 1949 and all authority over it remembered yesterday was given to me by Our Lord Jesus Christ. 3. From now on our motto is, work and pray. Go and tell everyone what you saw in this place too. Church of Christ. The Church of Christ has come into the world three times four. The first came to the prophets, the devil destroyed. Second, Christ came to build his church on the rock where Saint Peter was seated and the devil continued to persecute the disciples or apostles. 5. And without the world knowing, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that word that Christ once said to the woman in Saint John chapter 4 verses 21 to 24. One concerning Tokoists not closing their eyes when they pray, Toko Reverend Makondekwa said, I was a blind boy, blind, born blind with his father and mother. Whenever the father and mother went to work, they left their things arranged in one of them, she narrated in the corners of the house and next to the wall. As the boy wanted to see and know what the shape and colors of things were like, one day an old man appeared to him, who approached him, good afternoon, boy. Would you mind giving me a glass of water? I don't lack the will, but I happen to be blind, I can't see where the mother leaves things, because the things that are within my reach, I have nothing left. 
When I say, close your eyes, you will say, open your eyes. The boy did as the old man had ordered and suddenly he saw his eyes open and gave him the same food and drink. Farewell, the old man said, when I say, open your eyes, you will say, close your eyes. The boy proceeded according to the old man had ordered it and his eyes closed again. And I said more, don't tell anyone about this. After some time, the old man appeared again and the story was repeated. On this second day, after he recovered his views, he tidied up the house, washed all the dishes he had used during meals and put everything in its place. When the parents returned to the house, they were amazed, son, did anyone come into the house during our absence? Not mom. And who tidied up the house? Did I do it myself? You. How can this be possible? He told everything that had happened from the first moment until that time. When his father heard what had happened, he said to him, this man will surely return. And if he comes back to you, do everything according to his order. But on the farewell, do the opposite and you should not say, close the eyes. As much as he insists on you, just say, open your eyes. So the blind boy proceeded according to his father's order and his eyes opened forever and never closed again. After this narration, Simao Goncalves Toko interrogates his interlocutor, Reverend Makondek said, Do you understand what this is? Read John chapter 9 verses 16 to 30, 17, 1 to 3, Psalm chapter 121 verses 1 to 2. 2. When the church was born, it was put to the test, in the face of social theories regarding the negative impact of messianic movements, Toko responds with maximum economy. Work and pray. 3. C. Churches in the World 4. Epistle of the 8th of November 1973. 5. Jesus said to him, Woman, believe me, the time is coming, that neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem you will worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, we love what we know, because salvation comes from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, because the Father. 6. The disciples were also persecuted like the prophets and the disciples' career ended. 7. In 1918 the Spirit of God sent the missionaries to Africa to evangelize and since then God started looking for who would receive salvation because they were the ones who killed him and did not believe in the Holy Spirit and Christ knowing coming from the Jews, their thoughts said, 8. If the Jews do away with the disciples, the stones will cry out. So are Christ's disciples still alive? Now salvation has arrived in Africa which is the ends of the earth and the stones are crying out for him to come. 9. In this salvation the wicked will not come near. Psalm chapter 119 verse 15. That is why it is written on the cards of Christian stones, Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, remembered on July 25, 1949. 10. The Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world is only one and only. It was the men of the world who divided it and each gave the name he understood. Announcement for Evangelization Take the ball to Angola 11. On the day that the Spirit of God entered my house in the midst of Protestant Christians, at night, midnight on the 25th of July, 1949, after three days, the Spirit said to me, You will suffer for many years, but it will not be here in Leopoldville where the true spirit of Christ's disciples will be able to truly work, because the devil has spread his evil spirit in this city for you. Confuse 13. You will be arrested by the Belgian authorities, but you Simon, even if your brothers leave the Church of Christ, you can take it. The Bible and the Holy Spirit you receive will help you. 14. Tell your brothers that after the jail, you will take the ball to Angola, your homeland, but do not be afraid. You will be persecuted to the maximum and spread to almost all part of Angola. 15. The ball means, the word of God. Don't be sad, you are going where you were five years, in Bembe in a valley called Loge and the Spirit of Christ will be with you. 16. And in my vision, the Spirit took me to Bembe in the valley of Loge and said to me, Look, when you get here, that mountain will be called the Mount of Jesus Christ. Look for such that worship Him. God is Spirit, and it is necessary for those who worship Him to worship Him in spirit and in truth. 6. 
salvation is far from the impious, for they do not seek your statutes. 7. Epistle of February 15, 1974 and Toko's television interview given at the day before his return to Angola. 8. For Elder Sebastião Binga Nimba Toko, narrates about the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ on this mountain, Mayamona did not lie to us. Simao Toko had told us, this is the land of the prophets. One day at 9 a.m., we had come from the rivers. There we observed the mountain. Who knows the colonnade well, you know that there are four hills there. It was on the hill of Jesus Christ that we saw Jesus Christ in front of him. When he appeared, the father of Pastor Mateus Mpinda, Elder Daniel Araujo Mpinda, said, Watch our Lord Jesus Christ there on the hill. As soon as we looked, we saw the shoes he wore were long, like those of the sailor. 17. Those who know the Valley of Loge, the Mount of Christ is the one where the Lord's fathers built a chapel with a nimbus. 18. The other one in the middle of the old village of Loge, the Spirit told me to give the name of Mount Zion and the other mountain on the left after crossing the river Loge, told me to give the name of Mount Sinai, etc. I didn't know Loge. An expulsion from BMS. But as the people already knew that, they already read the books, they no longer wanted to leave these books. Well, now they have expelled us within his church, but God is not only within the church. He is everywhere. 20. Accustomed to worship the God within men were Protestant mission and all were sad. 21. Since we have been expelled, we will continue to worship our God within our homes. 22. A lot has happened. What is certain, we found in Makwela do Zambo the spirit made work difficult. 23. It was the spirit of those who fight to win the world, the Kimbonguistas, Empatistas and Machuas de Brazzaville, but the evil one that I always consoled the real Tokoistas. He opened his hands, wishing everyone peace in the first step. In the second and third steps he made the same gesture. And when he turned around, he disappeared. There was another person behind him that we couldn't see who he was. It belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. 10. Elder Donfonso F. Manzambi describes what happened, after the descent of the Holy Spirit, when the missionaries saw the weather as it was, they decided to expel them from the church, as well as those who followed him. And there where they told us that all those who follow Simao Toko, must leave the Baptist church and go to never return. On this day I was present. When the elder came out, I was still hiding to hear what they would say in order to alert the elder. As soon as the elders left when they arrived at the door they stopped and our church gave the last word saying, Lord Missionary, we will go, but we will not remain still. We will continue to worship the God of our ancestors. I stayed there until the meeting ended. In this meeting, they only dealt with expelling the followers of Toko. They didn't touch on any other matters of the church. That's how it happened at the Baptist Mission, the prison. This expulsion from BMS took place on the 9th of September 1949 in Leopoldville, but the expulsion that took place on the subject related to BMS in Kibokolo, Angola, occurred days after the descent of Espirito Santo in July 1949, carried out by the missionary Grenfell. Here there is a need to reflect, who are your historical ancestors that you would love to worship? In particular, what happened next? They worshipped God or not their ancestors? To understand who the historic ancestors of the Tokoists are, see on Alpha and Omega. Toko dos Açores wrote, said and certain. What the Spirit told me was what happened in that land. The palm of the hand turned, that is, the palm of the hand is black and white. But for Angola, the Spirit of God never told me to expel the whites. But yes, go to your land to take the ball and will teach almost all of Angola, whites, blacks and mestizos. But they will suffer first. Always pray to your Jehovah God, even if the Portuguese authorities do not want to. Enter your houses and say the Lord's Prayer in heaven. I will never abandon you if you persevere until I come. It was what the Spirit told us, but the Spirit that operates in the Kimbonguistas caused confusion in everything they began to expand Kimbongismo in Angola, Kimbonguistas who introduced themselves in the middle of Tokoismo and to silence their spirits. But this work is taking time because I am too far away.
But thanks to God and in collaboration with my brothers, the action of this spirit is and we start to expel those decreasing it. Comforting you in the true faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. 24. I will summarize what the spirit has been saying to me. Flee to your land carrying the gospel and tell them the great sadness in this land and the palm of the hand will change, the front will pass backwards and vice versa. 25. I gathered all the people in our brother Lutokemu yard and told the people in Leopoldville that the danger was approaching and we were leaving for Angola and beyond that things in the Congo would change. 26. The black Belgians started laughing and doing little and said in their language that Simao is crazy, Niangalakata made Muzambo. Damn that Muzambo. Muzambo is my tribe. 27. But many from the former Congo, they understood me too, but the others doubted it. The world is like that, your brothers and sisters and Angolans. Causes of disagreement with BMS missionaries. In 1949, there was a disagreement between missionaries. 29. In 1946 during the missionary conference that took place in Leopoldville and what I watched, I complained about drama consisted in recognizing that I did not have enough cultural basis to allow me, by myself, to understand the Bible. 30. The leaders who heard me and promised to send me pamphlets, books to help me. 31. In 1949, after three years, books that I ordered without seeing O.S. D'America, so I wrote a letter there, to the reverendos. 32. So we were promised to send some books that explain the Bible, so far you still haven't sent the books? 33. I was sent some books in French and Portuguese from America and we started reading these books that explain the Bible. 34. The explanations they contain, interested me a lot and were a great help. 35. I still remember the names of some, the end of the world, the last days, rejuze vu o nations, the joy of all the nations of the world. 36. Thus, the Bible becomes clear. An explanation is given that indicates the chapter and verse. Help us to learn the word of God. 37. We started reading these books and the believers of the Baptist mission were all interested in those books. 13. 38. And then the people started to increase within the church of the Baptist mission and there was no more place. The missionaries when they saw that asked. Why are there so many people now? We have been here in the Belgian Congo for 70 years and we have never seen much population. Now the church is always filling up like this. Why? 40. Simon sent for books that explain the Bible. Now they are reading a passage and then. These books and everyone is interested in these books, so the church is filling. 41. The missionaries then called me, because I was an auxiliary to the mission. I went there. 42. Why are there so many people now? 43. In fact, at Congress I asked for books that explain the Bible, now they have sent me the books and we are reading at the mission and at my home. 44. Show us these books and I went to show the books. They saw those books and said to me, These books are not from our church. You do not continue to teach these books. You can read these books, but do not teach others. The state does not like these books. 46. Why don't you like it, if books explain the Bible? How is it that the state will not like these books? 47. You can't, because they say things about the church and they say things about politics. Abandon these books. If you don't, you will be accused of the Belgian authorities. 48. Yes, sir. But that is wrong, I only found the statement that there is no need to respect flags, because the church is universal. I always countered this trend. 49. In the education I was given, I was taught that the flag is a symbol that deserves respect and I never stopped being interested in reading and understanding the Bible. Presentation of the Action Program After they expelled us from the Baptist Missionary Society, the next day, in the yard of Brother Timoteo Manakalu's Lutokamu, 51. I met with everyone and introduced them to the program of action that we would carry out, all events that would happen operate political transformations and regime changes and I also announced the end of the colonial system in Africa and said 
It is not the end of the world that I announce to you, but the change in the system of things. The hand will turn 14 according to Elder Pedro Enzilla at the time of this second call of the English BMS missionaries, in the face of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit, the leader had said, tell my mission officials that your sheep has fallen into the hole and it is important come and save her. I'm going to meet the missionaries if there's a third call. And so it happened. In the first call, Toko responded to the missionaries that he did not have time to go to meet them. Still on this issue, Reverend Reynolds of BMS Leopoldville persuades Toko to resign his mission, but he retorted, if there are two people, one diverts people who go in their environments from bars, clubs, brothels, dances, binge parties, beaches, etc., taking them to the church and another diverts people who want to go to the church, taking them in the environments already mentioned, which one has done the good work of God? This one answers him, without a minimum comparison, the person who diverts those who go to bars, nightclubs, brothels, dancing, binge parties, beaches, etc., to the church does God's good work. And where is my sin? Am I not also doing the same job of getting people to church, getting them out of the wrong way? S. John chapter 12 verses 44 to 50. 15 In this speech made on 9 October 1949 to thousands of people, Toko presents the project of action of Tokoistas, and describes the social changes that would take place in the world. 16 The change in the system of things announced by Toko in the 1940s and 1950s does not end with the events that followed the end of the Second World War until the fall of Berlin. From 1975 to 1982, Toko was once again announcing the end of the whole wicked system of Satan's governance, which will be preceded by Graydon. 53. The light part of the hand will pass and the dark part will become white. We will suffer prisons and others will be killed, but patience is the key to joy. 54. The end that is approaching is not the end of the world, but the change of the system. Soon major transformations will take place in the world and all nations of the world will be free, so that each people can be dark to govern itself. Announcement of Prisons O oh Zara, Simao Vuvu, you will soon have to leave your service, because I will entrust you with another mission. There are only a few days until the date I will be arrested. 56. On this day, many people will surrender and be arrested. But you will not give yourself up without my order, because your mission will be different. 57. In the afternoon, go to Kitega where Fuka Tomas works, to find out the place where you will exercise your mission. The city of Leopoldville is only a few minutes away and will start to shake. 58. We will be arrested and driven out of this land. But it is in our homeland where we will be sent. We will go to Angola. We will be arrested and expelled from this land. 59. As for you, when I am taken and all surrender to be arrested with me, but you three must not surrender. 60. You must continue your studies. Know that the world will only achieve freedom after I am arrested. 61. Only the elders I chose after the 1947 Kalina Conference should accompany me. 62. We will be arrested between September or October. And whoever is not detained must not surrender voluntarily. 63. The task of gathering people to be arrested is the responsibility of the prophets. They have the mission of selecting all the children of Israel who will be arrested with me. 64. And I will step on various points in Angola, because if not, many people will die from the darkness but you will see a large plane passing over your heads. Great personalities from Belgium came to judge your case, but don't be afraid. 67. The Protestant missionaries and some Belgian authorities want to send you only to Angola, but on that plane there is a white vape that will undo that purpose. 68. I don't know what they had dealt with the next day we were ordered to move to another jail where there were many prisoners in different cases. The spirit said to me, Simon, in this jail a man is condemned to death and he will be 20 years old and he is the guardian of the other prisoners, but how he received you with good manners, on the day they will go to your land, he will also be released. 70. I told my brothers, but some said that this crazy person who is there, has some foolish things, but the others believe. 
On the day of our release from prison, he was also released and many admired him. Creation of the Apostolic College 12 years older. I want to count on the three of you present. Go and find nine completing the number of 12 people. I need 12 people as urgently as possible, but it must be those elements who are not afraid of death, even if they are beheaded. Withdrawal of the Belgians from Congo, O oh Simon, will all these people who lied, bewildered and deceived, be able to bear and watch over their lives? 23 This bait of Jeremiah's, frustrates the intention of the Belgian authorities. 24 Treat the Lord John, disciple of the prophet Kimbongu who was imprisoned for this cause and who waited for Wakale who was to come, according to Kimbongu prophecy. Elder Pedro Enzila confirms this fact, when we were in prison in Leopoldville, there was one of the disciples of the prophet Simao Kimbongu that we met and said the following, well, you are going to Angola. If you arrive at Bembe, and you are given khaki clothes and two-headed hose as work tools, then it is this man that the prophet Kimbongu announced to us. But if you go the other way, and the signs I mentioned are not verified, I tell you, my brothers, they are not suitable because this will be another one. The prophet Kimbongu said to me, you entered this prison with me, but you will only come out when that Muzambo enters this jail. And when he leaves, it will be the day of your departure. And this happened, because the day we left the jail, it was when the Belgian government released him. Knowing this prophecy, Mpadi Simon walked with his people to Bembe, but was unable to enter the Loge Valley. 25 On November 22, 1949 the decision was taken to to repatriate to Angola Toko and his wife so that Congo would be free. On that same day, the elder Mavimbo Sebastiao, Mancota Andre and Makwikwila Manuel went to the prison to visit the director and he explained to them about the measures that had been taken and orders the institution of the first group of 12 elders 26 these obeyed the order of the director and the following day, on November 23, 1949, they took the complete list of the 12 elements and presented to the director who said to them, go and make a letter that should be addressed to the Belgian government, saying this and that. But this letter cannot be written by your writer Lovwalu David. Go to your brother Bamba Emmanuel. This is a Congolese citizen and he will write this letter. Whatever happens to you, after he writes this letter, regardless of the pressure that you are targeting, you should not denounce Bamba Emmanuel, because he will be arrested in the future but his time has not yet arrived. 27 Nadolo Chain. This challenge by Toko, confirms the prophecy of 74 Your question is a good one, but know that I will not only endure and watch over their lives and future, but also your own life is in my hands. 75 You chain Kimbongu here in Congo, but you won't be able to chain me. 76 They will repatriate me to my land, but know that this land does not belong to you either. So I will repatriate you too. 77 My repatriation to Angola, it will be repatriation, because this land does not belong to you. I will and will come back, but you will go for good. Because when I return, I will not find this. Belgian government. 